Well, friends, are you ready for more failure? I guess I am, because that's the only way we roll around here. So stay tuned. We'll be back in just a second. Alright, welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. And as you may recall, the other day, we were spreading fertilizer with the 1655, and it developed a miss. And after coming back here, I don't remember if I filmed that part or not, I determined that it is in fact cylinder number five that is doing nothing for us any longer. It is throwing a spark out of the wire. So step one I am going to try is pulling that plug and hoping that bad things await under there and that a new plug will fix it. Worst case scenario, which I'm thinking it probably is, is that a push rod has jumped from underneath and that cylinder is no longer doing anything. But I'm hoping that it's just a plug because I can tell it's been a many years since I changed these. So new plugs and wires are in order either way. But I got one on hand, so we're gonna try to swap out. One would also think that I wouldn't match you exactly in the way. I really need to get on the old jungles thing and order a new camera mount because I broke that, as you recall. Oh, let's do this. See, now you can see more better, -er, even though I'm hitting it every time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, I'm not too smart. I'm not too smart. How can I get this up here with the tiny brain? Come on. What are we going to find when we pull this out? Are we going to find crud and failure? Are we going to find sadness, despair? Ooh, that actually looks pretty decent-ish. I betcha that it is worst case scenario time. We're gonna put in the new one and start it up, but I don't have high hopes for this at this juncture. I mean, it's possible, but friends, we know around here that the easy way is never the way. It's always the most difficult way that we have to contend with. Sure. Okay. Actually, this might be, might be able to do this. Okay, yeah, sure. That. What will happen, friends? Do you think that's going to cure our illness? I hope so, but I doubt it. We're going to have to go around to the other side here. Turn the fuel on. Or did I forget to shut it off? I did, so it's probably flooded now, too. Okay, what will happen? That's what will happen. I knew it. I knew something like that would happen. Will that help? Okay, that did nothing. So, sadness all around. What should we do? Should we... Just ignore it and put it in the shed. Wait till later. Should we pull a side cover off and see if we can get the, get it out of there? We can't. We got to take this one all apart. I forgot because the air cleaner bolts to the valve cover. Shoot. Well, let's pull the fertilizer buggy away and we'll just drive her in the shed. 
and we will investigate uh, you know I guess we could do one more little experiment just to to prove our proof of concept and that would be to stick this spark plug back in the wire and try to find a ground somewhere I don't know where that's gonna be probably not there but, oh man we're just not having any luck at all friend issue is in fact sadness i kind of had that feeling because that one time when we were going up the hill it kind of made a clunkety clunk sound i did not like that so yeah we got to get this buggy off of here and then <clears throat> just put her away start tearing her down Is this it's already been run long enough like that but can't catch a break it's also possible that it broke a aluminum the whatchamacallar the little riser things that hold up your rocker arm shaft are made of aluminum on these and they have broken before so it's possible that one of those broke and caused uh, one of the push rods to jump out. What you're going to want to do is rocket your clip on the way across there. This is a real bummer because I love this tractor and I don't know. So sad. So sad. Sadness. Okay, we'll leave it where we can work around it, which is hard because I'm a slob and every time I turn around I end up filling flat surfaces, which includes and not limited to the ground. If you did not realize, the ground is a flat surface and I have pretty well filled up hundreds of acres of ground with stuff, so yeah. But it's all got to come off, hood, sheet metal, and air cleaner. We can get in there, figure out what our our trouble is, other than just sadness in general. Uh, trying to take my coat off here, see. Uh, not what I really wanted to deal with, but it's got to happen because, like I said, I like this and I could use it. So, hopefully, it did not destroy too much other than just push rod popping out possibly bent which is fine because i think i have more on hand i'm not sure more on i have that on hand but anyway yeah so sad but time to move on all right do you think that we can 
decrease the sadness because this is a pretty depressing project I'm really not looking forward to, but it's got to be done. So buckle up, friends, and let's get started. As you may recall, too, I have no electricity in this building because of working on all the stuff, and I had the electric line cut. So hopefully we don't need any power of any kind. So we'll just make do the best we can. Now what we're going to want to do is go in such a way where I'm going to be standing right in front of you the whole time and you can't see anything that's happening. That's probably what's going to take place. I'll try to stand off to the side, but that kind of feels unnatural. Now see, another thing is we're going to want stuff not to come loose and not have a big enough screwdriver. Yeah, okay. So plan X. It's going to be getting a vice grip, I see. Clamping it on there. Burning that out. Because, apparently, we don't like to do things the simple way. That is supposed to, both of these, in fact, are supposed to have those thumb screw things. But I have found in my travels that they do not stay tight and they vibrate out, and then the side always wants to fall off. So I replace them with more solid type stuff. However, then you have to have tools, see? Oh, dandy. The opposite side has screws in both of them. What are the chances that either one of those will come out? Probably low. I'm tempted to put the thumb screws back in, but we know that won't be good. I have some on hand. Okay. This can only go wrong, so, you know. What we're going to want to do is just screw up all the paint on it, because that's always good. Not that this is a professional paint job, but if you don't remember the story on that, I, in fact, have repainted this tractor, not by choice, but because it was over at Dad's one time in the winter, and the barn side, or what do you want to call it, lean-to that it was in, collapsed. And it took pretty good smack across the hood. I think it was right here. Yeah, because you can still kind of... But uh, one of the 2x6s or whatever, 2x8s came down on it here. Smushed the muffler and the air cleaner all over, and anyway, the insurance people wanted to total it, and I said, absolutely not. So, anyway. Okay, have we made poor decisions yet? We're working on it. I should have also got a socket to take the muffler loose. Did I do that? No. Let's try opening it. That always works good. Yeah. Okay. Put this in the certified muffler holder up here. <sighs> okay. Now, we got to get our air cleaner off. This is not the original of this either, because this was part of the smushing. So, the Oliver dealer down in Borden, Indiana, got us all the pieces at that time. I was a little kid. I don't know how little. I, I was fat, but smaller in age, I guess you'd say. But, anyway, he got us. We got a list of stuff that needed to be fixed or replaced, and he got it all for us. And then I put it on. But the aftermarket stuff he got was plastic, you know. This thing is not the right shape. The original was mesh instead of holes. So I may actually look and see if I have an original one now through my acquiring of stuff. And I might switch it. Ah, oh, this ain't gonna go. We need to have more loose. 
But I don't want to go. <laughs> we could clamp it on this end. And then totally destroy it. That would make good sense. I think that's actually going to be the best course of action. Yep. Alright. Sure. Should have probably gave it a bath before I did this. So as to make it simpler on myself. But you know how we roll. The most difficult possible. Now, up here in front, which I better make sure you can see. This is a very uh, official production here, see. These are not just bolts, but in fact, they were a long rod that goes all the way across from one side to the other, which is supposed to provide some type of flex. And it obviously did not work very good because almost every corner of every hood you run across is still cracked out. So obviously there was more flex than even they intended on. Uh, on a lot of them, I just bolted them solid. It doesn't really probably matter. I know the 1855 is bolted solid, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'll put it back this way. But long rod, and then these, the hole is a slot. It's not a hole. So it's supposed to provide, I guess, make it easier for the hood to rip off when you break the tractor in half, and then it can just slide out of the front. I don't know. I don't really understand. They knew what they were doing. Kind of. So. It's amazing. I have not had the sheet metal out of this in a long time. Based on how tough the all the hardware is coming out. Wow. <laughs> my cotter feet again. Cotter pin is missing out of my clutch rod. And it looks like it's been missing for many moons. It can't go anywhere because of the way the casting's made. But just one of those things that I notice. Okay, sadness, my old friend. Let's see if we can't make it even worse. Take this off. You watch that for me. Don't let that go anywhere. And this too. Your rubber grommets are what's holding you. Like your fuel tank. And then, oh, I forgot about that. Probably because one's been broken off for many years. Okay. have to do some work on our hood before we put it back on. Our brace is loose. Jeez. If I die in the meantime, you come and put that back on because I don't want that to rot out sitting in the dirt. Okay. Air cleaner delete time. Let's get right in the camera's way so you can't see anything. It would probably be easier just to take this all off so that we're not fighting around that pipe the whole time. You could take it off higher, but nah. Some of your early tractors instead of having this tapered hose had two short ends of hose and a cast piece that reduced it down i'm not sure i have any tractors that have that anymore that creeper drive tractor that i traded to craig i think has that style with the uh what you mean the cast reducer in there i might have one in parts but 
I'll, uh, if I ever find that, I'll make mention of it. But anyway, so if you ever do a head job, and then you come back and work on your tractor, uh, what I'm saying is if you take these studs out, the long two, you can see where they go because they've got to hold the air cleaner. And it's different on every one because the air cleaner goes in different spots on different models. The 1855 being turbo, it's mounted crossways back here so the long studs are in the back. You know. So that's what we're going to do. Air cleaner delete. Okay, now, are we down to the actual spot we need to be, I think? Should we clean this off first? Probably. Are we gonna? Yeah, I don't know. There's supposed to be a copper washer here. Need to get a copper magnet, right? That would make it easier. Easy, easy! Everything, calm down. Alright, tube needs to come off. Let's just do this. Well, it said camera was too hot. That's ridiculous. Let's get this off of here. Now, I see that the gasket's cracked, so we don't have to necessarily save on that. Let's just go up here and... Get that fried loose. Yeah, this gasket's toast anyway. It's crumbly. I've probably reused it once before. Oh, now we can get our copper doodads off. All right, here we're ready for the big reveal. What is going to be? Oh, I forgot to... T oh, no, we're not. Oh, it's leading us on. We can't take the suspense. I forgot to take the coil off. It's bolted to the valve cover. Oh, I can't wait. I gotta know. So close. So close. Come on. Come on. I must see the destruction with mine own eyes. So that I may believe. What has happened? Here we go. Oh no. Nothing's wrong. Oh, that's bad. Isn't it? Or did one just back all the way off? No. Shoot. Well, this is like the worst case scenario then, isn't it? Because nothing is wrong, which means I bet we'll have to pull the head. And I bet a valve is burnt. Shoot. We'll roll it around a couple times and see. But that's a real bummer. I was... Hmm, gee... This is depressing. I wanted something to be broken, like one of these. That's happened before. Man. Can we do it by hand? No. Is the battery connected? Probably not. Oh, okay, yep, it's connected. Well, G, G Beaver, I'm really depressed. As always, if you enjoy my videos, give them a thumbs up, leave a comment. And tell me how dumb you think I am. Or, if by some slim chance you liked it, say that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.